Hey guys, welcome back to the bench, and it's uh, happy birthday day. Yes, it's my birthday today, June 6th, D-Day, I believe, and uh, now I'm approaching old man status. Anyway, today we're going to check Walther's Solvacet decal setting solution. I hadn't had a chance to get this in time for my big decal uh, solution shootout, and but this comes Highly requested, highly recommended from you guys and a couple of my friends. And uh, so I was finally able to get a bottle. My bottle is a little different in that it doesn't have the brush built in. Some of the other ones had the brush. And uh, I think this is a newer bottle because they, they removed the brush. For whatever reason, it doesn't matter because we're going to be using our own brush to apply it. Uh, in the background, if you haven't seen, I got some new stuff just in Italy. Acrylic paints. I've been trying to get these for a while. They're kind of hard to get here in America But this little box set had a lot of colors in it black white red, so that's pretty good And then I got a few extras here gold and uh, Some blues so I'll be testing those soon. Um, I got a pretty decent uh, selection of finishers out of Japan Finishers, I think these are lacquers if I'm not mistaken or acrylic lacquers. These are uh, Look at the Mika the red pearl in that the um these really come highly recommended. I tested one I've had for a while and loved it. So uh, I waited to get more of these so I can uh, show you guys in a full-on full, full -on test. At least I can get some of these in America. A decent amount of choices anyway. And I got white, which I want for my big white test. And there's a couple of chromes and silvers, which I always love to test. And uh, this is one of my favorite paints. These MRP uh, paints, these are acrylic lacquers like Tamiya. These are out of Lithuania, I think. Or Slovakian. These are Slovakian. But these are actually easy to get in America. I can get every one of their colors. And they have like 200 colors. But I've always wanted to try their acrylics also. And they come a little smaller. But those other bottles are about 7 bucks. These are like half the price. So um, price-wise, I guess it reflects the uh, size of the jar. But it looks like it's pretty thick. So we'll probably be able to double this as far as uh, thinning it goes. Anyway, I have no idea how this stuff comes out. Again, I got a white for my white test. So I'm building up a big collection of white. Um, and I got this dry brush. Gunmetal from Ammo. And I'm going to be testing that on, you know, put it on the edges of your kits. And it looks like you got a little metal exposure. I've been trying to get this gunmetal for a while. And everybody's out of this particular color. And um, they're all blues and stuff. I don't see a use for that for me. But I wanted the silvers and stuff. And this is as close as I could get for now. It seems to be sold out everywhere. Uh, anyway, on to this test, which is the Walther's Solvacet. And um, I'm going to use several different decals. Um, these come highly recommended from a friend. I got them from my local store. And uh, these are made in New England, I believe. And the rest come from various uh, decals that I bought for my big decal test. Matter of fact, we used a bunch of these, so maybe we'll use some of them. And here's what we're going to be putting. Oh, I also have these. High Q parts. I have a bunch of the this brand uh, decals, so maybe we'll try a couple of these logos. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put it on different surfaces. We're going to go with, a, uh, this is primered, a smooth primer, so I want to see how it goes over that. I'm going to test it over matte colors. A lot of people don't believe in it. I've never had a problem, and a lot of you guys actually agree with me and haven't had a problem over matte. So, But this is a very smooth matte, but that's a painted surface. This is a gloss coat already over plastic. You can see the shine difference. This is a straight up primer. I think it's one of my newer primers. I think it's this aqueous that I just tested. And that way you can see, you can see all the rivets in there. See all that? So we're going to try it right over this matte primer. That's my rough surface. And then we're going to try it over gloss black. Same plane, the other side of the fuselage. And then I'm going to try it over bare plastic. And then uh, I might try it on this. This is a semi-gloss gray rudder. So we'll try it on that. And that's it. And then we'll try some at the end. I'm going to put a gloss coat over it and uh, we'll see what the end results. But uh, I got my decal scissor. And I got my brand new, highly recommended, this tray. Got this from Micromark. It even comes with a little tweezer to pick them up with. And it's the same style where you submerge it 
and pull it out of the water. However, it comes with this sponge which expands into here and it will stay nice and wet on this sponge until you're ready to use it. So you only submerge it for about 30 seconds, pull her out, and then you can get your work done right there. So we'll be testing this along with the Walthers. I haven't even used this yet at all. So uh, we'll figure this out together. All right, guys. All right, let me pause the camera. We'll cut out some decals and we'll start applying it. Now, here's the thing. On reading their instructions, they say after paint is thoroughly dry, apply the decal according to the directions. To set the decal, apply Solvacet sparingly on top of the decal. Now, they don't call for it on the bottom. Now, a lot of mine, I do both. I just do both. And then some have a two-part system. You've seen my video. One part goes on the bottom, decal, the other one on the top. It's a system. Uh, some, like Tamiya, which is just one, I'll put it on the bottom and on the top and let it do its magic. I'm going to do, I'm going to try one or two as they say, and then I'm going to try it top and bottom as I do it. Uh, supposedly this stuff is quite strong and will melt weak decals. I don't think these are qualify as weak decals, but it even says you may be thinned with water for delicate decals. But anyway, it says sparingly on top of the decal. The decal may now be slid into its final position, but do not prod as Solvacet is working. Do not blot See it? Do not blot. Let it do. Let it dry by evaporation. I can also put it in my humid, my dehydrator too. That works just as well. So, and it just gives its features here. It makes the decals snuggle. It also allows decals to stick better and helps eliminate air bubbles. We'll figure that out ourselves. I personally, um, in an early test, I found that uh, it took a couple of applications. But we're going to try this again with all different decals on all different surfaces and see what we get. All right, guys, I will pause the camera now, and we'll go on to the test. All right, guys, I'm back, and I put some warm water. Don't forget to make it warm water in here. This doesn't look too promising because it looks like the sponge doesn't quite fit, but it seems to get loose. But it looks like it still should get the job done, I'm hoping. Um, I got my decal tweezers. What decal tweezers are is they have no sharp edges, so you don't tear the decals and my boots out of the way. You see how flat they are? See it? There's no no point. It doesn't come to a point. So it holds a piece of paper perfectly. That's what a decal tweezer are. And this is another form of them. These are quite they look sharp, but they're not. They're pretty dull and you can see how they come in flat. See how flat they end up. So those are my two decal tweezers. Here's what we're going to do. Now because they say top only, I want to do top and bottom. Um I cut out these American stars, insignias. Hold on, I'll show you close here. All right, see this? What we're gonna do is this one will put just as they say. So I know in the experiment here, that's the one that we're going to be doing. That will have just the saw set on the top. And then the others will do top and bottom over the various surfaces. So let's start with this one. Sorry if my hands get in the way. I'm trying to do this as smoothly as possible. Um, I don't know if we have to show everything going on because as it goes on it's going to be the same across the board so we will uh, do it both ways. I'll show you applying each of these decals and then what we'll do is I'll put them all on off camera and we'll come back and we'll look at them dry and then I'll put uh, a clear coat over one of them and we can see the final result. So. That's what we'll do with that. Anyway, let's try this little gadget. All right, takes her out of the water. Now I see that this does hold some water, which is good. So while you're working, your decal can continue to uh, to separate itself. Yes, I see it. Now the sponge is absorbed all the water. If this fit perfectly, it would have been good, but maybe it needs these holes here to let the water slip through. I can't tell. Let me get some cotton swabs too that we need for drying up some of the water but let's see if this is moving already no nope. gotta go a little longer some of these decals are tough as a matter of fact let's go ahead and do this is black so I need a more of a white color here we are we'll use this we'll put that in there too we have to have 
as I'm both getting ready. That's the, the, the bonus with um, using a wet rag towel or one of these contraptions here is um, while you're working, it can still stay nice and uh, wet, but not too wet. It keeps it just, just right. You can just get a household sponge too. Uh, cheap package of sponges at Walmart just dip them in some warm water and keep it next to you in a maybe a Tupperware tray like uh, something like that put your sponge in here and then have them sitting on that too same thing. same thing but I really like to try all these gadgets because I'm always curious if they work or not all right let's see what we got now because this one we're not going to go with uh, <clears throat> Use a Q-tip too, by the way. We're not going to go with um, on the bottom. We're just going to apply this baby. So let's just put this right on. And there we go. And let's put some on. That's it. Let that absorb as it said. Let's see if this guy is ready to come off. It is. These are top-of-the-line decals. I showed you guys the picture of the Japanese ones. Hold on. I'm going to show you the brand before we go forward. Uh, HiQ Parts, HIQ Parts. These are Cartograph decals. Cartograph is considered the Rolls Royce, the Cadillac, the Porsche of decals. Trying to get in here easy. So, oh, see now I'm already messing up, guys. Real time here, real time. I'm going to put some on the bottom, as I said. Where do I want to put this? Let's put it over here. I can't go in this big rudder section here because it's just too big of a groove. See, the, no decal will go in there. But see now, oh, I'm smearing it over here. Now we're going to go top and bottom. Let's see if we get a difference. There we go. All right, let's put that on. If you guys can see this. All right, now what we're going to do is I'm going to put some on the top. My preferred way. Really sink these in. So that's top and bottom. So only on the bottom is going to be the star, and top and bottom will be every other decal. All right? So that's that. That will dry. All right? And that was on the uh, dull finish, matte flat black. So let's go with a whole different thing here. Let's go with gray. And then uh, off camera, I will do the rest. All right? So we're going to do it one more time. Let's see if this thing works. Put this on, and then we're going to go with uh, something on the brighter side. Let's go with this uh, Coast Card logo. Let's go with that. All right, we're going in. Push right into the water. Oh, oh, see? Got to make sure they sink. There we go. All right. It does kind of work. It keeps everything neat, I guess, other than having... This has everything all in one. I guess this is the bonus. You got your water where you dip it, and you get to dry it out. At the same point, I don't know why it came with these these tweezers. I guess uh, I don't trust them too much, but what do you want? I don't know why they came with that. That's a little silly. Put that off to the side. At least it has a holder for it. But anyway, yep. Are these submerged? Yes, they are. So we'll let that go. All right. Now this has a lot of rivets. Can you see it? This is all rivets. These are older molds, but at least it has rivets popping up so we can see it. The new one. Newer kits will have panel lines which are engraved, which is the preferred method of today. But this is a matte primer, nice rough surface as far as a, a flat goes, you know. So um, I do want to check out how it works on a matte surface. I'll show you guys, I have no trouble putting decals on matte surfaces. Some people swear against it, some people like me. See, they have not really noticed a difference. Let's see if this is ready to slide off. Gotcha. All right, let's see. Yep, right off. And there we go. All right. No need to blot, it said. So, I'm going to go in and go on the top, as they recommend. All right. So, again, the star will be just as the instructions Recommend every other decal in this test will be top and bottom, how I like to do it. So, get the Coast Guard logo out. We're going to brush some on up here. That's good. I'm going to come around here, guys. I don't disturb the view for you. I have no idea how these decals are, but my friend recommended them highly. Oops, I don't think these are ready to come off yet. 
Let's see. Nope. This guy's going to sink in a little longer, so we'll hold him in on our own. That's why it's uh, it's a little boring putting these things on. I did it on that huge test, and uh, I don't want to go forever doing this test, too. It's going to be the same. We're just applying it top and bottom. That's why I figured I'd separate them now to tell you guys what we're doing as far as uh, putting the liquid on at what point. All right, let's see if we can get this off now. I'm having trouble with this guy. Yep. He's going to sink and stay in a little longer. All right. Now, that was an old decal. I could have trouble with him. So uh, I might try another one while uh, this guy's working. Let me pause this and see how long it takes him to loosen up. So I don't know if they'll be on camera all this time. We'll be back in two seconds. All right, guys, we got him. He took a little uh, coercion, but we got him out. Again, this is a top and bottom. And... Um, I don't know, I'm not crazy about these. They seem like homemade decals, and I don't think it's going to work great. So um, what I'm going to do is put an additional one on here. So I got this star, and we're going to try that. Hold on one second so I can grab him. I got these soaking while I was off camera. All right, we're going to do top and bottom again with this guy. So we'll throw him over here on the bent surface. Let's get him off here with that. Oh, he won't oh no, here he comes. Here he goes. All right. Now this, I don't want to blot like it says, but he is around the corner. You know? There we go. All right. See that? So we got him. And we'll do him top and bottom, just in case that uh, Coast Guard one, that locally made one, maybe it's just uh, not what we're looking for. All right. So that's done. All right. We'll put him up here. This other one's ready to go. I got my glossy black. So we're going to go top and bottom with him. And we'll put him right here. See, see when you have glossy surface, this is what a lot of people don't like. You get a lot of the smearing up. But a lot of times you're going to put on bare plastic too with a Gundam. And then you're going to gloss coat over it. But this is enough. This is enough to grab hold of the decal and get the job done. I keep going in with my fingers on that. All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to do this a little on the bench here to get it done right. Here we go. Oops. Should give it a nice position. Top and bottom for him. Oh, let's get this guy soaking while we're doing this. There he goes. All right, so top and bottom. I'll load this guy right up. I do like these cardiograph uh, decals they're very good that's why uh, when you see a model on the package particularly uh, Italy Aries kits and the higher end kits it'll say cardiograph uh, decals are included and that's why you see that because they are considered the best all right so here we go we got one more for this one and then I will do the rest off camera and get my little gadget up here it's probably not a bad gadget. It's hard to work with because I'm working with the camera in front of my face, which is tricky. Now, this is going to be just... Is this ready to come off? Yes. This is going to be just the... Uh, what do we say? Just the top, as they recommend. Let's put it over uh, some of these rivets. How's that? Right over those rivets. Let's see what that does. All right. And that's it. All right. I'll do the rest off camera. I'll let it dry which will take a while. I'll go have my birthday cake and I will come back later and we'll check the results. And then after that, I'm going to put some clear coat over one or two of them and really see the final results. All right, guys. All right. We'll see you back. Now all of them should be dry and we'll check them out. All right, guys, welcome back. It's hours later. I've already had my birthday. Well, I had an ice cream cake is what I had and uh, it was good. But anyway, I uh, had some uh, time go by with this. I put it in the dehydrator, the food dehydrator, and I let it sit out for a while. And uh, it dried really good. We're going to go over these one at a time. I have the camera focused uh, in so you guys can see this. That's why it's a different angle. And uh, here we go. This is the uh, gloss-coated black plastic. We'll start with that. Now we know that this was just on the, on the top, as they recommend. And you know what? Look at the rivets. It, it came out good. It came out good. And this was top and bottom, the way I like to do mine. 
Try to get that the reflection, and that came out good. Doesn't look it, but it, it actually did mold over the piece pretty well. It's hard to see with the reflection of the glossy. So let's get that out of the way. All right, now this is, I sprayed this with the uh, flat black. I think it was a primer. All right, look at that. Just wanted to show you guys that it still goes over well uh, over a black um, a matte surface. It doesn't have to be gloss. All right, not a lot of details to show off here. It's just to show you guys that it, it will stick to uh, a matte paint. But you'll see something a little nicer as I go along here. This is the gloss black painted, you know, white model at the end. Again, but the star will be as they requested, just uh, on the top surface. You can see it's practically painted on there. And this was top and bottom. Doesn't look as nice because this particular decal had clear pieces in between, but I'm going to gloss coast this and we're going to go over it and see if we can make that disappear, I will say. All right. Here we go. Now this is a primer, a gray primer. And we'll go with this first, how they recommend it. With just coating the top, it looks good. The star is top and bottom. I did it because I didn't trust this homemade decal up here. So look, let's take a peek at this. Look at that. How's that? And this is on matte. This is the big controversy. Uh, can you put it on uh, a matte colored surface paint? And I have no trouble at all. And this is a homemade decal. Very, very fine. It's got a lot of... Uh, let, let the camera focus here. It's got a lot of edging around it. You can see that. I should have trimmed it closer because they're not professional decals. They're kind of homemade. Made locally. And that's why it has a Rhode Island logo and whatnot. And New England and Boston. And... Uh, New Hampshire because they're made for the area you got to trim around the logo and I didn't do that but I'm gonna put some dull cloning over this at the end of this video to uh, show you guys how good it works look at that I think it came out great all right let's get another one here this is from my old test so I had another side of this this was a semi-gloss gray a military color all right let's go with this first right here that's just coated on the top and you know what it came out pretty good and this is top and bottom how I like to do it look at that I mean that is perfect and you can do this I used to have to wait overnight but with the dehydrator an hour and a half look at that it dried as if it sat all day and this isn't the best model it doesn't have the best details it's rough in spots so that'll tell you how really good that is. And uh, for the hell of it, I did want to try chrome. Now this middle one here, oh, let's let it focus. The middle piece here is Tamiya Mark Fit. Look how nice. And now on the end is theirs, which just in the bottom. You know what? That worked good. I think I see a little bubble in there. That might have been my fault. And then on this, I have this little shield logo on the end here. Look at that. And you know what? Look at that. It stuck really well to the chrome. Just as good as Tamiya did. That's it. So no problem on Chrome at all. So what we're going to do, I want to show you those now because I'm going to put some coatings on it, some gloss and some dull, and then we'll wrap up the test. But I want to show you guys the results before any I did anything. Now this is pure plastic. This is a uh, spy plane, a Russian spy plane kit. But I use it just for test. And what I did was I put, uh, these are both top and bottom. I think this one's just in the, this might have been just on the top as they recommended and the star was top and bottom and then I dull cold it so this is how we're gonna see the others but look oh try to get it so it doesn't drive you guys insane here the autofocus there we go look at that and that's a quick going over I didn't put a final coating on it you'll probably get rid of all the little markings around it. and this is almost under a microscope and this had all clear in the middle by the way and look how much it's disappeared. It goes right through the ridges of this kit. There we go. So, let us go ahead. I'm going to uh, coat what I just showed you guys. We're going to do a final coating. And I'll show you the results um, right after this. 
I'll uh, spray. I'm going to use some spray cans. I'll, I'll show you which ones I used. And then uh, we'll let it dry and we'll go over the results. So we'll see you back in a second. All right, guys. We are back with some great results. Great results. Check this out. I did some of these. All right. If it was dull, I did it in dull coat. I did it in matte. Look at that. I mean, that is just a thing of beauty. Look at that. Oh, let me show you what I used. Hold on, guys. Yeah. Sorry, guys. A little bit prepared here. This is Flat Clear TS80 from Tamiya. Is what we used on that. Look at that. That is great results. All right. Let's get this out of camera shot so it doesn't focus on it. All right. Let's go into this one. Right, I'm going to focus it. There we go. Look at that. You can't even see where it begins and ends. Again, if I trim this one a little closer, because these are homemade decals, and there's no real edge, you've got to cut it yourself, I didn't realize. But um, it looks really good in person. If I cut the film away, you wouldn't even see it. It would look, it would look like it's painted on. And this is theirs with just on the bottom. Really good. Check this out. Look at this. Hold on, let's get this to focus. Look at that. And that's just on the, the top they want you to put. It. That's the one coat on the top, and that's top and bottom. How phenomenal is that? This is with the uh, TS80 flat, cl flat clear from Tamiya in the spray can. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. And I did one in gloss. I did this one in gloss. If the, if the surface was gloss, I put gloss over it. it uh, there we go. The gloss is going to wreak havoc with this. You don't see the clear between these at all. If I get the right angle here, the camera is really hurting. There it is. It, it kind of invisible up. I even think I could put another coat. But, you know, I just want to show for the video. See how it looks like it's just all coated in. It looks really good if you have a car with a... You know, with a racing stripe or something and it really really ends up coming out nice so that's it now i'll show you one of my older kits here this is my spitfire and uh it seems to get a little nicer even as time goes by see how nice it's, it ends up sitting in how beautiful that is so you can really get some great results these are nice 170 second scale perfect um size engravings and stuff so they're not too fat where the decal kind of sits in it really really nice you know there you can see it there too so uh anyway that's it guys it's good stuff very good stuff i give it a thumb a big thumb up um it's not expensive at all i will put in the link um a couple places where you can get it i think uh micromark has them maybe you can use my 10 percent code i'll put the code below and there's a bunch of places that have it. And uh, I'll put a link to everybody that has this stuff. And um, I wasn't sent this or anything. So uh, I'll just show you every place you can get it. You know, Get the best price you can. And maybe put a few other things in the cart so you don't have to spend big shipping on buying just one single bottle. But anyway, that's all. I'll put a link in. You know, This came from Micromark also, the, uh, the tray. I did discover that I think I went and looked up the pictures you know, while I was upstairs. And uh, going over, uh, I was looking this up, and this, see, it's even trimmed properly like it's supposed to fit. But in the pictures, theirs goes all the way, and it doesn't float out, I'm guessing, because it's stuck under here. The, the way this is shaped, I think I got a bad one. I think mine got trimmed trimmed off. So uh, if this fit properly, and then it, I think it's it's a nice little gadget. It's not expensive. It might have been 15 bucks. Put my, like, again... You can put my code in for that, too, and get 10% off that, or even put the two together, you know. But anyway, guys, that's it. We got another review coming this week. I'm working on these uh, empty markers, and uh, we're going to try and test out some uh, acrylic paint to go in these. It even has the, you can see the ball bearing inside it. So that's going to be a cool test. Look at that. A little marker test. And then uh, I got all these new paints in the background. Let me see if I can tip this up a bit. There we go. So I got all the new paints here from Finishers, MRP. I got these Italeries. I've been dying to 
try these babies out. So that test is also coming up, and I'm going to try this new uh, dry brushing. And I even got this new uh, oil. What is this brand here? Optilung 502. And it's a, it's like an oil oil paint, but it's, it's supposed to be great for detailing. And I'm trying to get anything that's panel lining related, and I'm going to test all those out t together too. Anyway, guys, that's all. I'll pick one of these and do another video, and uh, I'll see you midweek. And again, um, it's been a great birthday for me, and uh, the biggest gift is how well this channel has been going, and you guys, your feedback has been terrific, and I, I really do appreciate it. And um, please like the video, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. We have a lot more to go, and we'll see you in the next video.